Hey, it's Dorleen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a really fun square card. So it's graduation season. This is, um, I'm in April, but of course it's right around the corner. So I have requests for lots of graduation cards. So I thought I went would go ahead and start this one. This is a square card. I don't normally do square cards and, um, I just bought a bunch of envelopes, six by six envelopes. And I thought, this is really fun. I found this design in Cricut Design Space, so I really had to do nothing except for cut them. Now, you see me right here. I'm trimming off the top because I like the graduates a little higher up. So um, I was messing around with it, if you noticed, and it doesn't make a difference if I raise that up a little bit. You can't really tell. So that's why I did that. And then I decided I wanted to put a pattern paper behind that instead of just the plain white of the card base. So um, this side, like, like I mentioned, the envelope is six inches and this was cut at five and a half. And the reason why is I wanted just that little border around all the, um, the fun part of the card and the card base. So I cut down this pattern piece of paper and this is a six by six piece of paper. Originally I cut it down to five and a quarter or five and three quarters by five and three quarters and then I was oh right I wanted to make it shorter. So that's why I did my little hand motion like ugh. So I'm remeasuring just to make sure that it's not the size I wanted and then I'm going to go ahead and trim another quarter of an inch off uh, two sides to make it a five and a half by five and a half inch square. Um, super simple to do. Like I mentioned, this is a really easy card, so there's not a whole lot going on. Now, I thought, wow, there's so much you can do with it. I could have made it a shaker card. I could have <clears throat> added dimensional tape on each of the layers to really build this up, but since it's a card and it's going into an envelope, I just felt like um, flat layers was probably the best way to go. I used liquid adhesive on this portion because, as you notice, there's a lot of small pieces with the, um, the caps and the uh, hands up in the air, uh, little diplomas up in the air. So that's why I'm using liquid adhesive here. And then again, I'm putting it all the way up on the top because remember I cut this down a little bit. So you will see a gap on the bottom, but it will not be noticeable once I put the other layers on. And then once I did that, I did decide I wanted to have this layer a little bit up. So I had bought this roll of foam adhesive and it's actually pretty thin. So I decided to use that. Now, of course, as I'm going through the roll or the tape ended, but I'm a firm believer of using all of your supplies. So even though most of this did not have an adhesive backing, I just use an adhesive um, on the back and put it on myself. So once I put it on all four sides, I went ahead and removed the cover um, strips. And then what I did to place it is I just very lightly put one corner on that bottom left, make sure that everything was lined up before I patted it all the way down. So that's what makes it easy to line up. Now this green part, it cuts so well that I couldn't tell which was front and which was back. So that's why you see me twirling it around a little bit. Um, but once I decided, uh, again, was I gonna do it flat or was I gonna add the foam adhesive? I decided to do it flat. This time I just used my double-sided tape and put the um, adhesive on all four sides. And then I laid it down the exact same way, pressure on that bottom left, lined up all the other areas, and then used my hand to kind of flatten it down and just um, make sure that the uh, it adhered very well. Again, super simple card, design space pretty much did all the work. I just had to do the size. All of the products that I'm using, um, the cardstock, the... Uh, envelope. They all come from cutcardstock.com and I'll have a link to their um, website down in the information box as well as my blog where you can actually see more pictures and get more details of the colors I used and things like that. Um, but very simple. So um, hopefully you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post at least two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking and one is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. And in this case, it is a card. So I hope you do like this. Like I said, super fun, super easy. Not really a lot going on. I thought about adding stars, which you could do if you wanted to add a little bit more bling, but I'm happy the way it looks. I hope you agree. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.